Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. Today I will discuss on what is completeness theorem in quantum mechanics and also discuss what is its physical meaning. Okay. Now we all know in quantum mechanics we are interested in the Hermitian operators because Hermitian operators have real eigenvalues and uh, it can uh, represent some physical observables and for physical observables we want real eigenvalues or real values right so we take Hermitian operators in quantum mechanics so and we know an another property of an Hermitian operator if operator A is a Hermitian then uh, first its eigenvalues will always be real and the second one is its eigenkets or its eigenvectors will always be but orthogonal to each other its eigenvectors will orthogonal to each other that means we can form a complete orthonormal set if its eigen vectors are ortho ortho normal why orthonormal because because we know that that it will be orthogonal and we can diagonal we can sorry we can uh, normalize that and that will be that will become orthonormal so we can form a orthonormal set complete orthonormal set which by which by the with the eigen eigenvectors of a so an arbitrary kate in the kate space we have a arbitrary kate suppose alpha in the kate space that can be expanded in terms of the eigenkates of a that is we want to expand or we can want to expand the vector space total vector space by the complete set of orthonormal set complete orthonormal set made up with the eigenvectors of a operator then any any arbitrary kit can be expanded can be expanded in terms of eigenkets of a in other words i can say that like in in our vector space like in our normal vector what happens a vector suppose v it can be expanded or it can be expressed as something into i cap plus something into j cap plus something into k cap right so we can use the linear combination with linear combination with multiplying some constants and make this vector right so these are what these are unit vectors orthogonal unit vectors in the normal concept of vectors similarly similarly here in our abstract vector space what we will do the vector space is spanned by the orthonormal eigenkets of this operator then any vector any state vector any state kit can be can be expanded like the similar way and expand and linear combination like this summation summation a dash c a dash a vector that means it can be expanded like this a dash will span a dash will be one two dot 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 not a dash actually means it means like this c uh, i can like uh, denote it like this c1 a1 okay plus c2 a2 plus dot dot like this in the similar thing right you can map this to it now okay this is clear now what will be the coefficients c1 c2 what will be the coefficients that is of so what will be c a dash you can easily understand that just uh wait just take this product a dash take this inner product then what we will get if suppose a dash here a dash is a1 suppose that means a1 this inner product will give us you can easily understand that this will give us c1 why because of the orthonormal property of the basis of the biscuits because it is orthonormal orthonormal means of what a i sorry a i a j right this will become 
Kronecker delta of ij means whenever the i and j is equals then only it becomes one that means simply the product of same eigenkette will give one and with the another eigenkette will give zero so you can easily understand that here it will give only this term right and c1 a1 a1 one and the other terms will give zero because this will become like this and the other terms will become zero vanish so we'll get c1 the coefficient so in general i can write alpha so what will be our alpha this will now do this thing what will be this summation a dash right now i will write a this into c a dash means what c a dash means this thing right in general i can write this because this is the coefficient means this is equal so this a dash into a dash this linear product like this now you may ask that why i have uh, put this here why i have not put it before it because c was before the state case but why i have written it later because there are some conventions okay like we cannot write like this if i put it here for initially then it will become like this a dash alpha into a dash but this is illegal product okay this is called illegal product you cannot use this okay so you have to use what if you have things like this you have to just rearrange this like this and then you can use it okay so and easily see here that this is what this and this right so i think you all know the associative axiom of multiplication of the vector space associative axiom states that it can be regarded like this 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 is the thing right this this is the thing alpha this can be regarded like this a whole operator acting on this state kit right this is a scenario and the another scenario is or i can think of it as this is the state kit this okay this is the state kit and this is a number multiplied with a number so this is this state kit is multiplied with a number this is a number this is what this is just a number because this is inner product this is a just a number so this state kit multiplied with a number or this number is what nothing but the coefficient or a operator this operator acting on this state kit alpha so if we so you can understand that the left hand side is alpha right and the light right hand side is like this so i can think of it this is an operator acting on this and the left hand side is this so this thing this thing this thing must be equals to 1 this total thing must be equals to 1 and then only because then only the left hand side which is alpha state ket will be equals to the right hand side this right then only this result will be justified if we put this so this thing this thing is known as the completeness or closure theory completeness theorem now what it physically means let us understand it okay now you can uh, see this result and match it with the normal vector space normal sorry normal vector convention like a normal vector in 3d can be expanded like this e i cap e i e i what the base vectors or the unit vectors right vector into p now you can easily understand this like you can easily understand we have a vector like this then it has two it has in 3d three components and it has in 
2D two components in 2D suppose this is I cap this is J cap so it will be this component into I cap this component it is what nothing but I dot this vector is suppose V so I dot V if we dot this thing then is it is nothing but the projection right this dot product is nothing but the nothing but the component of this along this right plus this into i cap plus the component this into j cap means v dot j into j cap so it is nothing but our v vector so that is uh, that i have written here so you can match this with this thing you can match these two things so you will understand that what this is what the inner product which is analogous to the dot product in our normal convention normal conventional vector okay arrow vector you can say and this is this unit vector okay the another thing we'll discuss now if the alpha state is normalized suppose if the alpha you can you can use this thing you can use this property anywhere like what i am saying like the inner product here like this we, we want to find the inner product. we know that this will form one right now what we'll get we can we can insert this thing inside means alpha insert this alpha dash a dash into a dash in anywhere you can insert like this because this will give you identity right this will give you identity so so what we'll get take this and this and this and this these two things so this thing is nothing but alpha a dash is nothing but the complex conjugate of a dash alpha right so it will gradually become summation a dash a dash alpha it's mod square right that means and that is equals to one that means the usual normalization condition and this is what this is what we have discussed this is the coefficient c a dash so if we, if we have a linear combination of a vector or if we have a superposition of vectors like this then like this okay then if alpha is normalized then c1 square plus c2 square plus dot 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 that will be equals to 1 which is a known result so it is established okay now another important thing is the physical significance or physically what it means actually what this operator actually means what this thing means uh, this these things mean so for that we have to do a thing we have to operate this just operate this on any vector suppose any state get we have this then what happens then using the associative axiom we can write this like this into this and this outside right that means a number sorry uh, a number a dash alpha multiplied with the state get this this is a number multiplied with this that means and this is nothing but c a dash into a dash so it is what it is saying us that this operator this operator selects the portion of the state get alpha parallel to a dash it is selecting the portion of alpha this portion this portion of alpha along or parallel to a dash this is what this is the inner product or simply the dot product so it is what it is like this like this here you can see that this dot product is making what making this making the portion of this vector or the component of this vector parallel to its unit vector right its direction so it is doing the similar thing it is do is operator is doing the similar thing this operator selects the portion of the state k alpha parallel to a dash 
parallel to a dash so this is the portion of that alpha which is parallel to this and it is made by this operator so this is the work of this operator that means it is nothing but the projection so this operator this operator is called the projection operator projection operator along the base kit along the base kit which a dash so and it is denoted you can denote it with it is denoted with this symbol capital lambda a dash so capital lambda a dash is nothing but equals to a dash this so and its summation if we do its summation it will become just one right so i hope that you have understand what is the projection operator and what is the completeness theorem or closure theorem okay so i hope you have understand all the concepts in this video and uh, to sh uh, share this video with your friends and to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so take care of yourself thanks for watching